So back in November 2020, Apple added the Apple Wallet with MagSafe to their extensive accessory lineup in conjunction with the iPhone 12 series handsets. At first, I personally brushed over this product, mainly because I didn't feel I needed a new wallet at the time. Pretty sure I still don't now, but in the back of my head, I kind of wanted one. When you open up the box, you're immediately greeted with the natural leather wallet. I went with the classic black, but you do have three other color options to choose from, which is Baltic Blue, California Poppy, and Saddle Brown. Inside the box, there is an illustrated placeholder card situated inside the wallet itself, and the only other thing in the box is the standard Apple sleeve documentation. The design of the wallet itself is super minimal and slim in profile. The front has the pouch area for your cards and the Apple logo is embossed on the front. Moving on to the rear you have this vertically placed oval style cutout which is used to push cards up for easy access. In regards to practicality and function, this comes down to your wallet needs and feeds into why I decided to purchase one for myself. The goal was for me to streamline and reduce taking up that pocket real estate that some of my previous wallets had managed to do. My wallet journey has taken me from bifold wallet with coin pockets to what you see here today. And when compared to what I deem smaller wallets, Apple has succeeded in bringing that profile down even further. So what's the catch? Well, you probably already guessed it. The wallet itself, due to its profile, can probably only comfortably hold three cards, four potentially at a push. Now, some of you might be put off by that, but for me, this was perfect. And if you are considering purchasing one, this is something you do need to consider prior to that purchase. Now for the main attraction, MagSafe, which is Apple's name for the neodymium magnets which are embedded into a variety of accessories, both cases, wallets and the 12 series handsets themselves. The benefit you might ask is you combine these products together, whether it be directly to the handset or to a compatible case. Fun fact, you do get a visual indication on screen and an audible indicator sound when connected correctly. So far, I found that the wallet case feels more secure when attached to Apple's case over being attached directly to the handset. I'm thinking this is potentially a combination of the fact that you have the magnets on the phone in conjunction with the magnets on the case as well, giving you that extra grip. So let's address the elephant in the room and those early videos and concerns about the wallet not being secure enough or being knocked off when placed and slid into a pocket. So I'm going to echo the thoughts of the sensible people in the room. This is not an issue. Seriously, the case is not designed, I repeat, not designed to permanently stick to your phone. It's a convenient bonding feature. And secondly, just put your phone in your pocket like a normal human being. In my opinion, Apple has created a really nice, clean, minimal wallet, which suits those who only need essential cards on their person at any one time, and those who value saving that extra pocket space a more conventional wallet can take up. What are your thoughts? Do you own the wallet already? Are you thinking of buying one? Drop me a comment below. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. If you have any channel suggestions, please let me know below. And if you could drop me a like, that really, really helps me out. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. And that is me. Bye for now.